Hello and welcome to Vlogmas and today is Tuesday the 12th of December and one interesting day I've had today but this is Vlogmas and I do my advent star reveal so we'll be diving straight in. Normally I've got a bit of a prop or something to reveal but this game franchise has spanned 10 years. It's been the pinnacle of the Xbox 360 uh, being one of the best selling game franchises ever on it. Of course, I'm talking about Gears of War. Now, what I'm going to do in a minute, I'll pop up a window and we'll get some game footage going as I chat because I've got no physical media anymore. I've since uh, traded the games in and got them on special offers or download codes with newer games, older games, Xbox Gold, blah, blah, blah. So, rolling right back into 2006, we had Gears of War. This was a practically new game, new franchise, a new beginning for the Gears of War franchise. And I must admit, when I saw it, I was a bit dubious, wasn't too sure about it. But as soon as I jumped in, diving in as Marcus Phoenix, fighting against the Locust and the Horde from the Emulsion, I never looked back. This was one of the first uh, third person games that I played for a while and I immediately got to ground and fell in love with the cover style play system. I honestly thought this first game gelled and there was just something about it that was so intuitive to play. Not only that, it was, as I remember, four player co-op in the actual game um, you could team up with your mates and we all played together, sometimes on our own but mostly together through the single player campaign. The certain things of Gears of War, one always remember the three big um, monsters, stroke, uh, ogre type things in the pit and you having the sniper rifle and having to shoot them through the eyes to take them out. That has lasted with me for the well these last 11 years. I still think about it now. Obviously in 2008 we had Gears of War 2 and in 2011 Gears of War 3. We now had Gears of War Judgment. And then in 2016 we got the Gears of War 4. The very recent iteration. You had the choice of playing it on the Xbox One and for the very first time on the PC. And I have to say, and I still think to this day, for the games I've actually played, it was one of the best looking games. Maybe not so much now, but a year ago in DirectX 12, the fluidity and the way this game played. With the DirectX 12, the graphics were ever so fluid and there was just a look to it, that initial factor of like, wow. With it being on the PC and DirectX 12 and all that goodness, there were also some uh, PC teething issues, we could say. On the day of launch, the game had already pre-downloaded, but then when I come to play, there was a patch, and this patch pushed the install to, I think, over 85 gig, but... With the Windows Store being the absolute piece of tripe that it is. And come on Windows, please get it to the level of Steam. If Steam can do it, you can do it. The game, almost because of the way it's copy protected, the file protection, it has to make a copy of itself, install the patch, and then bring itself back in line and delete that copy. Because I got the game installed on a 128 gig SSD, I couldn't install the patch because every time it tried to install it, it ran out of room and then complained. So I had to delete the game, re-download the game, but then in doing that, it got confused. I kid you not, this is my horror story of Gears of War 4. I downloaded the entire game probably about three or four times. It was ridiculous. And I know I was not the only one to be having trouble. But to be fair, all that was pushed to one side because as soon as I got into the gameplay, it's fantastic. All of the Gears of War games have been good. Gears of War Judgment was a bit of a stocking filler, a bit of a stopgap. But all the main games, the 1, 2, 3 and 4, 
have been off the charts. Again, if there's something you've missed because you've pretty been pretty much you know loyal to one cons one console or the other, highly advise you grabbing a copy or copies of the games because to this day I think it's one of the best things going. I've pretty much had a day of uh, computing and actually getting the Gears of War footage was quite difficult. OBS Studio doesn't record the DirectX 12, you only get sound. Today we had the new, brand new uh, Radeon drivers, if you're using the AMD uh, graphics card. I downloaded that and I hadn't used Relive for some time to record anything. And in typical AMD fashion, although the drivers seem to have improved dramatically the frame rates and play of the games, Radeon Relive doesn't work. So I sort of had to do a quick hash in getting my Elgato to go up its own backside and come back into the PC to record the footage. In doing this I lost sound from that because, oh, anyway, computers, why, why do we stick with them? They're the biggest faff in the world. I don't know, must be crazy. But anyway, as you can see the footage actually worked. We've got no sound problem chatting away anyway and it's up on the right. So without me rambling on, this was another Vlogmas. So I hope you're really enjoying the series. Thank you for all the comments so far. It does give me encouragement to keep pushing forward. Thank you for watching tonight and I will see you in tomorrow's Vlogmas.